Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Hangry Higgs and today we're going to be going over the Technomancer class in Outriders. Now the demo becomes available on the 25th of February but unlike most demos you're going to be able to save your progress and carry it forward until the main game releases on April the 1st. So I thought naturally you're going to want to start with the class that you expect to play in the main game so then you can just keep pushing forward with your character because the whole point of playing this game is to get to end game as quickly as you can but also enjoy the main game, soak it in and then start creating your builds. Now before we do jump in guys, I just want to say a massive thanks. My last video, we've got over 400 views so far. Now to me that is massive because I've only really just started taking YouTube serious. Outriders is that game that's grabbed me, which I want to start making content for and building a community around. So thank you to all the views, all the people that have stuck by me, all the new subs, all the likes, all the comments. It helps out massively. So yeah, big thanks guys. Cheers for that. So let's start looking at the core attributes of the Technomancer, which are long range, support and gadgets. And then we've got manipulate the anomaly to animate constructs and bend them to your will, aiding allies and killing enemies from afar. And then underneath that, as the Technomancer, you will recover a portion of the damage you deal as health. So straight away from the off there, you can see where the support comes into this and maybe the long range build where you're going to be sitting back and just supporting your teammates and throwing gadgets out to further support them. So as we can already tell guys, it's a really versatile class with abilities to match. And I'd say if you're more suited to the flow of combat and dishing out your healing abilities, this would be a really good class for you as well. So if we was just to take everything we've just seen now, you are the support class. And then we've got some fundamentals as well guys. Powers are used for summoning and indirect sources of damage. A unique melee power that inflicts freeze. Very fucking good. And then we have the forefront of the class, and that is three main principles, which are ordnance, gadgets, and decay. And then we also have health, which is a big factor for this class. And that is the main way to gain health is by playing aggressively. And that is because you get health back on damage dealt to enemies. So there's a fine balance here to be had with the Technomancer. And I think once you tweak it and start opening up the skill tree a lot more, and you get it just right, it's going to be a very OP class. So now if we take a look at powers... So each class in Outrider starts off with eight powers and we do accumulate more as we progress higher. But so far they've only given us five to look at, so we're going to take a little dive into these right now. The first one is Tool of Destruction. This comes with a rocket launcher and a minigun. I would like to add that the rocket launcher actually interrupts enemies as they're about to attack you, which is great. You can interrupt them, kind of stun them for a little bit, then that'll get you out of trouble, especially if it's a boss or something as well, because it doesn't say it doesn't work on bosses, I'm presuming it does. Next one is Fixing Wave. It's the only power in the game that gives health back to you allies and constructs this power alone makes a technomancer a really attractive build then after that we've got pain launcher this is an automated defense defense device to damage enemies on their own that was a bit of a tongue twister and then after that we've got blighted turret automated turret that inflicts toxic on enemies dealing damage over time that's a great little power i love anything that can deal damage over time cold snap a large area of effect that freezes enemies, creating more time to till damage. So as you can see, you've got a lot of area of effect here, damage over time. I don't know, I think I'm swaying more towards the Technomancer right now. And then we've also got the added bonus of having power combos. Now with these, you can just use all of your powers and chain them together, one after the other, to create massive amounts of damage. So for instance, we could have Cold Snap to freeze, then Blighted Turret to inflict Toxic, and then Tool of Destruction to finish off with either the Minigun or the Rocket Launcher. I think that is a fantastic move by the developers. That just adds so much more flow to the gameplay. So well done on that one, guys. Let's move on to the skill tree. So first off, straight away, we can't unlock all of the nodes entirely. And that's to be expected, because what fun would that be? It's all about trying to min-max your builds, be as powerful as possible, and creating different builds. I'm sure we're going to be able to save certain builds here. Also, there is no penalty, no cost to reset your skill tree and start again, which I absolutely love. That is, an, a, wel that is a welcome addition to the game. And as we can see on the right, we've got the three branches of each skill tree. So top we got Pestilence, and then Tech Shaman, and Demolitioner. So Pestilence flows better with DK skills, then Tech Shaman, that gives you a boost for turrets, freeze, and healing. And then Demolitioner, that is an all-round buff and it can flick toxin toxic on enemies you freeze. I definitely will be going Demolitioner, because if I can freeze, then add a damage over time in toxic happy days and influences also alters how your skills work so i.e what armor you have what weapons you have so there's so much more variety and i keep using this word variety because it's actually nice to look at a game that's got so much variety <laughs> and it's just yeah i don't know and it's got me really excited i am a hype machine i know that but i played these types of games for long enough to know when i see something good and so far what we've seen 
it's more than good it's fucking brilliant And it's just got me excited. I've been around playing these looter shooter games for long enough to know when we're onto a good thing. And I really do believe we are. I'm not going to say 100% we are because I don't want people blaming me if the game isn't up to their expectations. But so far from what we've seen, the transparency, the gameplay, with them even releasing a demo to let us experience the game, it all leads in the right direction. But guys, that is it for the video. I'm going to get to work straight away doing the other three classes quick rundown so hopefully you lot can decide what class you're going to use on February 25th but as always if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one have a good day guys bye